Jimmy, baby. Oh. Oh no. What's up, James? I'm okay. See, James. James, where is my visa? Take it cool now. Eh? Chill, baby. Chill. Ah. See, see, see. James, I am not in the mood for all this nonsense. I've had enough. Give me my visa. Okay. We need like 200k more. 200k? After I've given you 250,000 naira. <laughs> hey. Come. What do you take me for? The daughter of the CBN governor. And mind you, if I am that, I will not be struggling to leave this country. Ah, Jumi, why are you talking like this? Eh? You need to understand, girl. You need to understand. We are talking of USA visa here. We had a little problem with the last man to sign. And we need to give him this money. James, but well, you know I struggled to get this last money. Where do I get this 200k from? You mean, I trust you, no be you. And if you are able to bring this money, I assure you, by this time of next month, you will be calling me from New Jersey, United States of America. <laughs> uh, uh, see. Uh, and you need to get this money latest in two days' time. If not, we will forfeit everything. James, two days, 48 hours. God. Hmm. Team leader, it will be suicidal to go to that same village for evangelism. From the report we received, out of the last team of seven evangelists that went to that same village for evangelism, just one of them returned alive, and that only one is still on a sick bed after being rejected by three different hospitals, including a specialist hospital. The Bible says, wisdom is profitable to direct. There is a need to apply wisdom here. Is it only a party that we can go for evangelism? There are other souls in thousands of villages that also need the gospel. Can't we continue praying here until we are sure that the demons that are killing Christians in Agwapadi are dead before yes. we go to the village for evangelism? Sir, I am ready to go to Agwapadi. Even if I'll be the only one, sir, I don't mind. In fact, sir, I'm not only ready to suffer for him, I am also ready to die for his sake. After all, some people gave up their lives for us to have the gospel of Christ in this country. Sir, I am ready to go. Thank you, Brother Tyro. You will not go alone. I will go with you. Thank you, sir. And I believe Jesus Christ will go with us. Amen. Amen. Ah. Brethren, the instruction we receive from God is to go to a God party. And a God party, we must go. No, team leader. We can't go there. We can't go now. We can't go there and risk our lives. Hallelujah. Yeah. Sir, we went, we saw, and we conquered. Glory be to God for Jesus and the entire team. Yeah. But, uh, sir, we must acknowledge the anointing of God upon Brother Tyler. When he commanded the village, the demons are killed to live, a great miracle happened. Mm. And the villagers gave their life to Christ, including the king yes. of the village. Yes. Hallelujah. We thank God we all change our minds to go to our God the village. That since we arrived, we have been having great testimonies in our personal lives. That's true. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. It is a good thing to preach the gospel of Christ, mm. especially to the unrich. Yes. And we want to thank God for the power we have in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And I congratulate you all for this victory. Thank, thank you, sir. And I pray that the anointing of God over your lives will not dry up in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It is well with you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir.
Take care, sir. Bye. I'm sorry, darling. Mm. Okay. Well, what a wonderful and dedicated brother. Brother Tyre? Yes. I just remembered his great performance at the deliverance at Agopadi ten years ago. You told me. Okay, let's go and see him. What are these people looking for again? Good evening, sir. Good evening, brother Tyler. How are you? Do you mean you're not ready for the night VG? I don't feel like going to the video tonight, sir. Uh, see who is talking as if he has attended night prayer meeting in the past 12 months. Tayo, what is becoming of your Christian life? Brother Tayo, you know that this night prayer meeting was specifically organized for you. That's true. And you promised us last week that you were going to be in attendance. I'm sorry, mommy. I I want to pray in the house. I can't go out again tonight. Oh, okay. Fine, there's no problem. We'll call others to join us here. Oh, yes, Daddy. No, sir. I don't want a crowd in my house. Wow. I want to pray alone. Hey, Brother Tayo. When has the coming together of brethren to pray in your house become a crowd? I remember we used to hold vigil every Friday in your house. Mm. When the church started several years back and we were just 20. Mm -hmm. Brother Tayo, you were the fellowship president in your secondary school days and even in the university. And I know that in the last six years, you have been our prayer coordinator. Yes, that's true. Can you see what has happened to your Christian life now? And I warned you very well, the very first day I noticed an act of sin in your life. I warned you that you cannot undo your new life now. Hmm. Honey, hmm. Brother Tayo told me that he is more than able to handle his present way of life. Hmm. Hmm. Is it because I said I don't feel like going to the video tonight? That you are giving me these entire tales by moonlight? I said I'm not going to the vigil. Period. I want to sleep. And I, I don't see anything wrong with my Christian life. Just a little modification does not mean I'm backsliding. Hmm. I am still a child of God, sir. I am born again. Spirit field. Hmm. Okay. We won't open our eyes to see you cover up in the pit you are falling into. We will not. Bratayo, we will be praying for you. Good night. Good night, sir. Jide. Jide. Jide.
verdade. Hello, Chief, 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 my darling. Ah, hello, sweetie, sweetie. <laughs> How you do? Please, I need some money. Just two fifty k. Chineke. Two hundred and fifty thousand. You cost more. Ah, uh -uh, Chief, that's a little change. For a CEO of five group of companies like you. Anyway, uh, what do you want to use the money for? I need the money for a business. And um, besides, you still owe me 50k from the last weekend I had with you. <laughs> that change, I will pay next month. Ah, no. Next month is too far. I need the money today. Okay, anyway. Uh, you come and spend the weekend with me, and I will say to you. <clears throat> no way. You want your wife to continue the beating she had on me from the last time I spent with you. That monster you called a wife almost beat the broad daylight out of me the last time we saw. Nonsense, man. What do I do? I Oh. Yeah, I will deal with him. Hello, Jas. Ah, Lady Jumi, a ah, young lady, <laughs> the baddest of them all. Are you in a lorry? Yep, yep. I'm in town. Anything for the boys? There is a business for you. Ah. Yeah, it's a kidnapping job. I want you to kidnap the son of one chief, um, Okole, that stays in Bini. The son is cooling in a lorry. And believe me, it will fetch us a lot of money. Yeah. Hmm. I'll see you tomorrow for details. <laughs> ah. Good. Oh, thank God. Brethren, I'm going to read two verses from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10, and I'm going to read from verse 11. Now all these things happened to them as examples, and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the ages have come. Verse 12. Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed, lest he fall. I will read that again. Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed, lest he falls. Mm. Brethren, what is happening to Brother Tayoto now is an example for all of us. Mm. And we have to be very watchful so that we do not fall the same way he is falling. Mm. And tonight we are here for a rescue mission. Yes. And we are going to rescue him. So we are going to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus three times. And we are going to say, Lord, Lord, I didn't hear that. Lord, Lord rescue Tyre, rescue Tyre, rescue Tyre, rescue Tyre, and restore him back to you. Let us pray. Hey! 
not to play. Now we are going to tell God. Father, reveal yourself to tell you tonight. Hey, hey. we will tell Holy Ghost, open the eyes of Brother Tayo. That he will see his spiritual state in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Ah. Brethren, that is a very good prayer. And we are going to add this to our prayer points and say, Lord, let your son Tyre have a revelation of you tonight in Jesus' name. Let us pray. That's such a wonderful player. Wow. I wish I can play like you. Ah, uh, well, you see, I've been doing this, this, this since I was five years old. How come? <laughs> I've not been seeing you here before. Well, I'm new in this town. Uh, I'm new. Uh, I'm new. I'm Tayo. Innocent is my name. Good. It's a pleasure. Wow. You're, you're kicking up. Uh. You're kicking up. <laughs> that's, a good, what, um, that's a good one. <laughs> I would like you to teach me how to, you know, I like your movements, you know, all those, you understand? I'll do that with all pleasure. I'll okay. do that with all pleasure. <laughs> What a beautiful chick. What do you mean by that? I was just um, appreciating the work of God. You know? <laughs> Come off it. You should stop taking um, soft things like this. You take these ones. This is what the real guys take. You know? You don't take soft things like this. You like that? <laughs> Yes! I got it. Destroyer. Yeah, that's the word. Yes, please come in. Good day, sir. Hello, brother Tayo. You're welcome, sir. I can see you have a visitor. Not a visitor as such. He's a friend. He lives here with me in the house. Hello. You are bro? Innocent, sir. Please excuse me. All right. Where did you meet that boy? We met at the club yesterday. You met yesterday? And he moved into your house yesterday? Uh, no, sir. He moved in today. In fact, this morning, sir. Is he a Christian? I mean, a born-again child of God? Um... Um... I mean, he's uh, 
Right, Tario. This is a very simple question. It's either yes or no. All right. No. But I want to make him one. Tayo, that may be dangerous. I am not saying you should not make friends with him, but you would have studied him first and pray very well about it before you allow him to move into your life. <laughs> Sir, he has not moved into my life. He has only moved into my house. That is dangerous. <laughs> Sir, do you want to spiritualize this again? <sighs> this guy is innocent. And I don't want you to misunderstand my good gestures. Tayo, my boy, any good gesture that can arm you is no longer good. This boy that I am seeing may be innocent, but he will stay and grow in your house to control and mislead you. You can undo him today, but he will grow to undo and misundo you tomorrow. The ultimate aim is to destroy your relationship with God, your career, your family, and your life. Throw him out now, I beseech you. Throw him out. I said it. Ah. Sir, why do you always spiritualize everything? I'm in love with this guy, Innocent. So let not your heart be troubled, sir. There's no problem at all. Remember to pray. Yeah. T, T, T. Look at this. These are the real guys. You will always find it in their rooms. So, get acquainted. You get that? Why you look like that? Don't give me that look. You should like this. So, these are cord machines. Okay. You know, use it frequently for printing on large papers, you understand? Mm -hmm. And this is, this is Justina, mm -hmm. Justina machine. We use it also for printing. Mm -hmm. And um, this is cutting machine, stitching machine. Mm -hmm. And this is cord of uh, cards, you know? Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for coming. You're yeah. Hello? Oh, Innocent. Please meet Innocent, my very good companion. Good day. So, you are Innocent that people talk about so much? Ah, uh ah. -uh. You mean people have been talking about him? Uh, what have they been saying about him? Well, nothing serious. Um, sorry, I have to be at the choir practice now. Tayo, can I see you for a moment? Please, wait for me in the car. Tayo, who is that lady? Ah, 
That's the lady I've been telling you about now. Agnes. My fancy. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I told you we are planning for our wedding. Uh -uh. That brat. Eh? Uh -uh. Tayo, to be frank, that woman does not fit your status. Uh -uh. You need a woman that is social, more elegant, and is fashion conscious. Not this thinking one that knows nothing about color combination. Stop it! Ah, stop it! Listen to me. She belongs to the old generation. Tayo, you have good girls among those are our girlfriends. Innocent. Stop it! Tayo, how long are you going to continue to hide these girls? How long? See, if that was a joke, stop it! Stop it! Leave that. My daughter, I know you have age, and I can't marry you. Neither can I give you somebody to marry. The problem is not with the boy you intend to marry. I mean, Tayo. I did some investigation on him, and I learned there is a force in his life, and it is that force that is controlling him. I don't care, Dad. Ah. Tayo is my husband, and nothing can make me change my mind. Agnes, my daughter, what your father said is right. The totality of a man you are to marry matters a lot. Marriage is your life and it's forever. And I don't want any problem for you in future. Mommy, life itself is a risk. It is my decision to marry Tayo and that's final. Anyway, he has promised to deal with that force in his life after our wedding. He promised me that innocence will leave the house. I know he will say that. That's what most men do say before wedding. Let me tell you one secret. What a man can't change during courtship will be very difficult to change after wedding. Okay. I'm ready to live with him, whatever the cost. Thank God, I'm a prayer warrior. Agnes, marriage is not a short distance journey. Is a journey for the rest of your life. There are better things to pray on. This prayer will be very difficult to pray. Yes? What is going on here? I'm arranging our wedding pictures. Please, where do you think I can place this? Who gave you the permission to hang pictures in this sitting room? Permission to hang our wedding pictures in my sitting room? What insolence? Are you out of your mind? You must be a very stupid woman to ask me that kind of question. Get away from there now. Ah! Innocence! Eh? Innocence! Mm -hmm. What's happening here? My dear, look at this. Can you imagine this man? Telling me not to hang our wedding pictures in my sitting room. Innocent, what's the problem? I don't want to see any of those pictures in my sitting room. Period. Um, well, in that case, you can take the pictures to your room and hang them there. After all, wall is wall. Oh. Right? Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Yes, my lord. I know that our time of action is now. But that is wife is a problem to me. She has not been allowing me to operate in Tyre's life the way I used to. She disturbs me with her prayers. No! You are the true son of the destroyer. And a destroyer indeed. You must take total control of Tyre's life. That there will be no room for anyone to operate. Start this operation by tormenting his wife with his bad behaviors. You must make Tayo do the things that irritate his wife and hurt her most. And by this, his wife will be distracted from praying. <laughs> <laughs> Elder, Tayo has changed completely. He keeps late nights. He gets drunk any time of the day. He doesn't even care that I am pregnant. I never enjoyed this marriage for a day. I knew this would surely happen with that boy in his life controlling and directing him. Tayo has really changed to another thing, with, and I'm not really surprised about it. I have come to realize that innocence has taken total control of his life, and I have no place to occupy. I am filing for a divorce. Divorce? That is impossible for a child of God. Marriage is to death. Do you part? You can opt out in courtship and not out of marriage. God hates divorce. Thank God you are a prayer warrior. And I believe this will strengthen your prayer life the more. Again. Tayo. Tayo. Mm. Oh. What? <laughs> what? Leave me alone. Innocent. I know you are the one controlling my husband. But your grip on him will soon cease. <laughs> How dare you? Huh? Idiots. How dare you? Talk to him like that. Huh? <laughs> this is my life. Huh? You cannot talk to him like that. You live the way I make you live. <laughs> live the way my friend or I make you live now. That's, that's, that's alright. That's alright. He is not in his right senses. Do not let him hold the baby in your womb. Sit down there.
you innocent. I knew that the very first day you came into his life, you came to destroy him. And I want Tayo very well. I want him. You are a destroyer. And I will not allow you to destroy this family. Go away. Foolish, <laughs> foolish children. <laughs> My dear, we are getting late for Sunday service. We are not going to church. Innocence. I'm talking to my husband. Let him answer me. And has he not answered you? We are not going. Simple. Go with your son now. I will go with our son. Your son. But what about you? Woman, please. Leave us alone. Innocence. I know you are the one misdirecting my husband, <laughs> but your grip on him will soon cease. <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> Tayo. Tayo. Daddy, I'm not going back to that house again. So, are you moving to your parents' house? No. They refused me. They only allowed my son to stay with them till I get over this problem. Hmm. They told me I have no room in their house again. Well, good parents. Good parents. Your husband's house is your own house. That is where you belong. Words of parents are meant to avert this like this. And we all want you at that time before jumping into this marriage. Anyway, that is not the issue now. We are going to your husband's house together. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, my lord. You are gradually taking over his life. And his family. <laughs> yes, my lord. I have taken over his entire life. In fact, his wife is dying gradually. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Why am I destroying my whole life? Through a stranger that I brought into my house. Thank God for realizing this. Tayo, your wife is dying. Your son is not a stranger to you. The stranger you brought into your life has taken the position of the two. Oh, God. <sighs> Sir, please help me. <laughs> please help me. <laughs> what shall I do? Please. Son of Destroyer. You have to go now. We must not lose this battle. Now, go. Tayo, what you need to do is to denounce him and send him out of your life immediately. Tayo, come with me. I want to see you. Come 
back here. Don't you have respect for others? We are discussing something serious here. And without permission, you just walked in to take the landlord of the house from us. Just like that. For your information, I am the landlord of this house. Tayo, denounce this stranger immediately. Um, innocent. What exactly do you want to see me for? This innocent is not innocent. Denounce him before it is too late. Denounce this stranger. That was good. Stop there in Jesus' name. Sir, why can't we dialogue with him? He can still change. There is no time for that. You have to denounce him now. Sir, he's been part of my life for a very long time. Can't you help me denounce him? What are you saying? With your mouth, confession is made unto salvation. I do not have any right to denounce him on your behalf. You brought this stranger into your life, and you have to denounce it because you have the sole responsibility to do so. My dear, please, denounce him and send him out of your life. Please. Tayo, denounce this stranger from your life now, before it is too late. My real name is D, the son of the destroyer. My mission is to destroy Tayo. And that I will do. Yeah. <laughs> innocent! My wife! Jesus! Jesus! Oh! Innocent! Jesus! Tayo, what is the problem? Why did you leave your door open? So, I was dreaming. Ah, thank God it was a dream. A dream? So it's a dream that have made you so terrified. Yes, ma. It started Almost as soon as you left my house yesterday night, I even slept off without closing my door. In the dream, I brought a guy, innocent, into my house and I nurtured him into maturity, despite all warnings. Only for innocent to later kill my wife <laughs> and myself. Really? He frustrated and destroyed my life. Hmm. Tayo. This is not an ordinary dream. This must be a revelation from God. We are just returning from the all night prayer meeting, which you refused to attend. Mm. We prayed for you all night. And we did ask that the Lord will reveal himself to you, mm. as well as make you realize who you are. Mm. Hmm. This must be an answered prayer. That is true. I believe the dream was God's way of speaking to you. That guy you brought into your life and nurtured unto maturity before destroying your life is sin. Hmm. Can you remember what I said here last night? That you have allowed sin to enter into your life? When a sin first enters someone's life, 
we see it as harmless, innocent, and almost cute. But it will not stay there. It has a way of spreading quickly than we think. We always think we can handle it. But before we know it, it begins to undo us. And it always leads to destruction and death. Sometimes physical, spiritual, and even emotional death. And at other times, it leads to the death of our relations. Mm. If sin is not confessed, denounced, and forsaken, it will bring spiritual death and destruction. That is why James warned us in James 1.15 that sin, when it is full grown, brings forth death. Tayo, now that you have seen the true picture of your life, will you now renounce sin? I have realized my sinful ways. Praise God. Hmm. Sin appeared so innocent when it came into my life. But I found out that it's so difficult to handle. Now, confess your sin and denounce it. Tell the devil to pack his load and move out of your life now. Yes, but I need time. I need time to reflect over my past life and also to recover from the shock of this dream. Tayo! I also need time to convince myself that I will not go back to sin. Eh? Tayo! Tayo, my boy. What are you saying? Eh? After all this revelation from God, what other conviction do you need? Eh? Tayo, this is the time for your salvation. Take a decision now. Tayo. Hello, boy, ho, boy. How are you? Huh? You mean the director called that the money is ready? 1.5 million naira? Cash. But why cash now? All right, no problem, no problem. I'll be there by 3 p.m. Yes. All right. Thanks. Ha! Ah! Oh my God! This is a good news for me this morning. We're happy for you. I think I will have to see you later in the day. So that we will conclude our discussion. Uh, yes. Tayo. Tayo. The issue of your soul is so important, much more than money. Eh? You may think you have time, but time waits for no one. Please. Let us conclude now. It won't take time. Just a decision for you to take. Confess your sin. That's all. Sir. Ma, with due respect, I want to say I would like to tidy up some things before going out. But I promise, sir, I will come to your house before the end of the day so that we can conclude the discussion. Yes. So, sir. 
रहता है ओके माय डियर लेट्स गो थैंक यू सो मच सर आई प्रॉमिस आई विल सी यू बिफोर द एंड ऑफ द डे सर so that we can conclude the discussion <laughs> it is well amen ma you welcome thanks hmm. My god. What are you doing here? And where are you going? I came to Lori for a business. Uh -huh. I'm on my way back to Lagos. Do you live in this town? Of course. Uh -huh. In fact, I was on my way to the bank. But as it is now, you have to follow me to my house. At least to know my house. Don't say no. Let's get going. All I won't right. take your time. All right. Yeah, wait. <laughs> do me, do me. Hey. Oh my god just wait 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 Jumi Jumi Good to see you man you have changed too Jumi, sorry, your friend told me you are terribly sick and you want me to come and pray for you. Yes, but I, uh, I believe if you pray for me, I'll be fine. I believe too. Let us pray. Father in Jesus. Oh! Uh! Yeah, sorry. You lock the door. Tayo, I don't need any prayer. See, you are the prayers to my problems. Ah, stop it! You are the reason for my sickness. Ah, do me! What is wrong with you? Tayo! Ah, yes! What's that boy doing in the room? He's not leader of those fanatical boys on campus. Eh? Jumi. Jumi. Oh, Tyra. What are you thinking about? <laughs> Nothing much. Just the campus days. Those good old days. Ah. <laughs> Those are old days and they are gone. Man, all things are new now. Huh? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Jumi, look at you. Tayo. Oh my god. He has really changed. Welcome. Thank you. 
This is my house. Oh, nice place you have here. Yeah. I just moved in last month. Yeah. Yes. This is beautiful. Come, let me take you around. Like this flowers. I like your flowers. Yeah, thanks. Hmm. It's nice seeing you again. Yeah, this is the ante room. Yeah. And um, please come. All right. This is the sitting room. I have my dining. Then there are two rooms downstairs. I have the kitchen, the master bedroom, and well, this is my little place. Hmm. Nice place you have here, Tayo. Oh. <laughs> hmm. But come to think of it, this... you've shown me everything. What about your wife? <laughs> I am single and available. What about you? Who is the lucky guy? I'm still searching for the right man. Oh. Wow. Who knows, maybe the right man is her. Uh, oh. Sorry. What do I offer you? Uh, not to worry. You know I'm traveling. And, um, Tayo, aren't you going to the bank again? Oh, shh. The bank would have closed. Uh, yeah, that means I have to keep the money at home. Do you think that would be safe? Or isn't it an huge amount of money? Excuse me. All right. Hello, boy, ho, oh boy. Tayo. Uh, yes, the money is with me now. Yes, 1.5. 1.5 million. No, 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 no. Do not bother yourself about that. The money will have to be with me till tomorrow morning. Don't worry. I'll see you as soon as 9 a.m. tomorrow. All right. Bye. Yeah. Um, sorry? No problem. Why did you say you are not spending the night here? Please, pass the nice air. I mean, the house is all yours. I live here alone, except for some days that I have some visitors. Visitors? Female visitors, right? Oh, no. You should trust me now. Mm, I don't seem to trust the tire I'm saying now. Anyway, I'll spend the night. But I have to see a friend now. There's no problem about that. I will take you there. Oh, is there a place I cannot go to? Mm -mm. It's not what you think. It's a lady friend of mine. All right. I'll take you there. Let's get going. All right. Thank you. It's okay here. The house is just behind this story building. I'm sure you won't keep me waiting. No, I won't be long. My greeting is too. All right. Ten minutes. Except that you don't want me to follow you. Ah, uh, don't worry. I'll okay. stay in the car. Okay. Some orange. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Well, that's the way you like yours. Yeah. For me? You peel it. Uh, 
Hmm. What is it? Look at the time. And Tyus refused to show up. Honey, I think we have done our possible best. Mm. I mean, all humanly possible. I'm not sure. Hmm. You're trying to call him? Yeah. Crying baby performance where you put up the other time in that party. Hmm. If you try and for me this night, it go prepare. Ah. Hmm. Sky goes. Repeat it. Yeah. Consider it done. Well, but you can you can trust now. Oh, you don't go up lie, lie again. Okay. Just my guy. <laughs> you me. Wait a lady. Now. What's up? What's up? I did. Please, um, the kidnapping business. Uh -huh. I want us to cut that off. <sighs> Why? There's a new business and it is even in this town. How much is at stake? 1.5 miller. Hmm. <laughs> the sharing formula is 50-50. No. It is 70, 30 or no deal. Ah, Lady Jumi, government don't put money for salary. And eh, you know now. Ah, okay, okay, okay. 60, 40, final for the boys. No, now me bring this business now. Lady now Jumi. 70, 30. Lady Jumi, 60, 40. Okay, final. Person, they wait for me. I'll go talk to you later. Okay, now, yeah, me. Mm. <laughs> uh, boys. <laughs> hey, Kyle. Hope I didn't stay too long. Oh, not at all. Mm. all right. How is she? She's very fine, thank you. All right. Yeah. Shall we? Okay. Yeah. Is your security man back on duty now? Um, uh, no. He called that he was involved in a road traffic crash on his way here today. So. Hey, hope it's not serious. He said he has been treated in uh, a clinic close to his house. Yeah. Poor man. Oh. I left my phone in the bedroom. Hello. Yeah, the coast is clear. 4.30 a.m. is the time for action. No mistakes.
Jesus. Jesus. Dear. Dear. Oh? Dear. Please wake up. Is it morning yet? No, wake up. We need to pray for Tayo. Why? I don't know. So, how do we pray? Uh, I mean, is it because he promised to come yesterday and he refused to come? No. In fact, we need to go and see him immediately. We need to go. Oh. Now. Let's go, let's go. What is that? Flat tire, I guess. Cooperate with them. follow you for the sharing. The morning is for the boys. <sighs> What's the problem? The car will not start. We need to start walking. To where? Why you have brought us at this early morning? There is no time for argument. We need to start working now. Oh my God. Uh, let's go, let's go. Let's go.
Tayo. Jesus. Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Jesus. Lord. That's okay. Okay. Oh. That's okay. Hello. And who are you? I'm Edda Joshua. And this is my wife. He was my son in, in the Lord. Well, I'm ASP Johnson. I'm the leader of the Zone B of the Special Squad. I'm also a pastor at the Wisdom Assembly. We are on patrol and we saw these criminals. We stopped them for the check and they opened fire on us. Thank God, we overpowered them. We killed three and caught this one alive. He made some confession to us. That's why he brought us to the scene of the accident. Mm. Hmm. Elder, you will have to excuse us. Okay. Because we want to carry out some preliminary investigations. Uh, no way. You will have to follow us to the station. At least as a principal witness. He is often rebooked, and Stephen is neck will be destroyed suddenly, and that without remedy. Talk back to me. 